found the secret garden. Probably shouldn't have signposted it. So this is a street in the railway children returns. This is like Oakworth Village, ironically filmed in Haworth, which is like the next station along. We just discovered that the Bronte Parsonage house is part of it, is where they live. And then this is the street. High street. We were walking up it and we thought this looks like it could easily be part of the film. It's that kind of cobbled street. And it was, so the more you know. <laughs> ah, no. Literally within viewing distance of each other. Oh dear. We come all the way to Yorkshire to see a pacer. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please, no. It's so unsatisfying. I can get the bus anywhere. We're at the Worth Valley. And they have posters. That's pretty good. Kind of it, really. It's an empty shed. Apart from these things. Hello, friends. Oh, they've got the railway children pannier. Why did I not think that would be in here? <laughs> And they had it all dressed up with flowers at the end. Oh, this is so nice to see, actually. Chocolate flavoured pannier. Oh! And then this one is the one of the two engines that was used in the second film. Which isn't as nice, but is like in World War II. And they also just slapped numbers on it and said, Yep, LMS. But this is how it appeared in the film that we saw. And then this coach is used in the original. as like the saloon carriage, which kind of plays an important part. Guards break. Lancashire Yorkshire Railway carriage. Pullman carriage. Standard four. Pretty standard. This must be a Scottish one. It's got blue. Mary. Oh, look at that. That's a nice observation carriage. Wow, look. It's got like two bogey sets, but like it's such a tiny carriage. It's even got a toilet. That's brilliant. Oh my goodness, it's a pug. <laughs> Wow, what a diddy little thing. Has it got a bell? Oh my goodness, it has a bell. Stuff all the clocks. It has a bell. It's not any pug, it's the pug. Oh, I've just realised there's a pug next to Ginty. That's really satisfying. <laughs> oh. Brussels, the sprout engine. <laughs> I'm defaming history again. Oh, it's 118. Good advertising. What are you? Oh, you're like Lady Armadale. Manchester Ship Canal. Hamburg. Oh, you're the one that dressed up as Thomas, aren't you? It's not answering. They're all Thomas characters. There's all tiny little tank engines. Oh, that's a huge cap. The film clearly didn't have that much of a budget. This is like... different franchise altogether. <laughs> You like Tiny and Pug. They go together really well. 
Yeah, they would be good friends. Oh, <laughs> can confirm. Absolutely tiny. Dress up station. Oh yeah, they had these on the railway back in the day. You know, they had hen dudes in the 1940s. The harms. We're not going there. We're not going there. That's what a smoke box looks like. That's what's behind Thomas's face. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit, but it's like, yeah, exactly, exactly, literally. All those electrical cables, wow. <laughs> Did not know about this one. Don't stand there. What a wonderful kind of day this is. So I've seen videos and photos of this place for like when it storms and because it's so low down and the river's right here, this gets completely flooded. Uh, like all, all the way up to the wheel. What's the engines do? Well they just sit there. <laughs> but there's not much they can do. Like the I feel sorry for the volunteers because all of the shed is just completely waterlogged. <laughs> I think it's a made up livery because British Railways wouldn't let them paint the engines in black. So they just came up with that. I like it. Some people don't. They're wrong. Is that class 11 next to the 08? Like, predecessor? Various contraptions. Just casually dumped a tender. Okay. It's like a kit. As you do. Fat controller when he bought Henry. Found the tender it is. Place. I think it used to be like a, I don't know actually, what this used to be, a school. Yeah, this is the right place. <laughs> oh wow, they're just here, they're just in a library. That's so strange. Scooby dooby doo. So this is basically a baby flying Scotsman. It's a smaller version. Uh, no, afterwards. Yeah. So this is Green Arrow. This is in the book. Yes, it was built here. That's why it's in the museum. <laughs> Touch.
John. <laughs> Oh, it's that Thomas game, and you've got to like pick the whistle with Percy. <laughs> Choose that one. These aren't all NNER. Some famous ones up here, actually. Fish. <laughs> that easy. That's a great name for an engine. Inflexible. <laughs> 126 miles an hour, which you learnt on the chase the yes, other day. <laughs> So three of them were made, that's interesting. I did not know that. I also thought they were gold, not silver. I've seen that in artwork before, but Grocery looks happy. Grizzly's groceries. We made it back. It's been two years. Last time we were here. We were just waiting outside the door because we couldn't go in. It was all the COVID times. Finally, the doors are open again. We can actually enter. Woo! First engine sighted. They used to scurry around crew works. Like, they stand over here. On the do not climb bit. <laughs> no. There. That's the cab. Like, that's the firebox. The smoke box is embedded in the tanks, like, the whole thing is just so pit squeak. I love it, I love it a bit. Station hall. Look, it's a crab. I've just spotted they've got chocolate brown. Ah, okay. Well, that's a must-see for the museum. Does the colour of this one look familiar to you? This is like the from yesterday. Oh, yeah, I suppose you're right. I was going to say, also, yeah. Yes, it's Stepney I colours. Just check the lining. <laughs> <laughs> Does it mean anything to you? Um, it's not quite the same, is it? But yeah, it's, it's still got the red. It's exactly the same. Oh, is it? This is this is designed and built by the same person who designed Stepney. Oh no, Paddington lost his oh, trolley. No, Oh, I was hoping it was going to say, um... Please look after this trolley. Yeah. <laughs> Wanted on voyage. Oh. Lovely. Drummond pea green. They're rubbish at counting, though. It's almost difficult to photograph these, because, like, the black is polished so much that it's really reflective. It's the captain's engine. This was the first preserved standard gauge engine in the UK. Privately preserved, so before Stepney. There's videos of this in the 60s at Bluebell. Stevenson's rocket, number one. It's Stephen. That blue tarpaulin, that's Box Hill. All boxed up. We can't go and see it. <laughs> Barrier told me I'm not allowed to. For anyone who does want to see Boxer when they come to the National Army Museum in the future, when there's not transformation in progress, it's in there, next to the toilet block, which is there, and the stage show thing that's over there, right next to the miniature railway in the South Yard. PMG, I think that's what it's called in the show. It's a bullet train. So called because, well, Looks like a bullet. This is all the way from Japan. It's a bullet train. Wow. Yeah. The only one outside of Japan is here. This is a new exhibit. This was in the other National Railway Museum in Shildon. This is a Chinese engine. Apparently this is the biggest engine built in Britain and sent out to China. Oh. I did not realize this was built here. <laughs> but yeah, can confirm it big. Stevenson's rocket again. They copied and pasted it. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's Thomas. Oh my goodness. How did they get him all the way? I know, he's this is surely the most famous engine Smaller in the collection. In he's tiny, yeah. Camera trickery, I and think. You're allowed on it as well. Wow, that is amazing. I can't leave that. You can't go on any of these, but Thomas. Thomas is different. They were bottoms us. I did not know they were called that. I just thought it was a long boiler so engine. That's my favourite class saver. The hippopotamus class. Yeah, that's quite a unique one. 
What is with that regulator handle? What? Looks a bit different there. Green machine. You might like the name of this one. Evening Star. Oh, I do that. Yeah. This was the last steam engine ever built in Britain. What? Most recently? Uh, no, not recently, to be fair. Like tornadoes and more recent stuff. But I mean, like, last, like, engine to actually work in Britain when they were still using steam. Uh, you know? Steam like, before they introduced diesels. Okay. Well, as they were introducing diesels, this was the last ever steam engine built. Whereas nowadays it's sort of like done, you know, by preservation groups. So this is a very significant engine. And this differs slightly more from other 9Fs. They gave it some special fittings, swindonized bits. No, no, just believe me. It's the 9F. That's the shed code where it used to live. <laughs> That's very confusing, to be fair. <laughs> this is Copper Knob. Don't laugh at the name. This was on display at Barrow and Finesse. The Barrow and Finesse, right next to Sodor. Uh, where it was in its little glass shelter. And it got involved in a bombing raid. And uh, yeah, whilst it wasn't shot down by a plane or anything, the bomb um, exploded so close by that the damage just pierced through the engine on both sides. Other than that, it's well preserved, considering how old it is and how fragile it is. This engine doesn't have like proper frames. It's all completely hollow. It's just these little bars, that's it. I mean, that's the motion, but barely any frames. It's got pure white coupling rods. And lots and lots and lots of brass to polish. Tweety! Oh, it's a little tweety! I shouldn't laugh, this is a lot stronger than it looks. Oh hell no, nah. they separated the Q1 from its tender. That's a bit mean. I think it's gonna be a long, long time. It's Neville. Oh, oh Neville. Oh, I've not seen this before. Easily, yeah. They did it because uh, they chose this engine because it looks like hair, like oh, long it's long hair. Enough. Yeah, like it's uh, very visual. This should be you as an engine, would it? Okay. <laughs> oh wow, the driving wheel is absolutely huge. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised, but still, that's not Thomas. It's the speed boy and the fast coach. This is my large cab. This is where the magic happens. 126 from this seat. So this nickname for this engine is the Upturned Bathtub. You can kind of see why. It's oh, like a yeah. the bath yeah, upside down. It's a Spencer. Spencer dispenser. Henry. Is it Atlantic? It's the original Henry. He does exist. The Three Henrys conspiracy was real. Nameplates from so many famous engines again. It's like a Doncaster. Well, there's many that people would recognise here. Oh my goodness, they've got Edward here. He lives. I built this. I wonder which bit of the Eurostar, Euro tunnel this is, they've just taken away. And whether it's just flooding with water now, whether they took this slice out.
Legends. They are absolute legends. They've stuck a balcony on the end of it. Oh, that's amazing. So these are good for when they were delivering parcels and goods and things. Instead of lugging them down the stairs, you just use a ramp. Useless for bringing them back up the stairs, but whatever. Hello my dear friends, this is a voiceover from the future! If you enjoyed this Terrier Travels, then maybe you want to see some more of it. And I have 17 whole extra minutes to show you. There was just way too much to jam pack into this video from the Keithley and Worth Valley, the National Railway Museum and the Great Central Railway. So if you become a patron of this channel in the Bluebells Forever or Top Terrier tiers, then you will get access to an exclusive extended edition of this video and get early access to all of my other videos too, as well as a new post every week on what I'm working on, whether that's a model, a video, or somewhere I'm going next. So maybe join, maybe do that thing. I think it'd be good for you. The link is in the description to join. Voiceover from the future, signing out. Have a nice day. A big thank you to all of my brilliant patrons. Alex Goodman, GBH Train, D0280 Falcon, Sean Tempest, Nat, Random Thomas Fan, Peter Davenport, Ego, Kildane's Coven, Insane Edward, and Dark White 73. 